Today, every NFL player has been placed on their hometown team to see which team produces the best NFL talent. Tyreek Hill is from Pearson, Georgia, so he will be an Atlanta Falcon because they are the only NFL team in Georgia. Justin Jefferson will be rocking a New Orleans Saints jersey while Nick Bosa returns to Miami. Christian McCaffrey heads back to Denver and TJ Watt is back in Green Bay. I use each player's hometown according to Madden 25 and place them on an NFL team based on geographical proximity. For states that have two teams like Texas and Ohio, their rosters will be divided based on geography just like this. So Patrick Mahomes, who was born in Tyler, Texas, will be the Cowboys quarterback since Tyler is closer to Dallas than Houston. For California and New York, players were evenly distributed to each team. And for states without NFL teams, we've connected players to nearby franchises using this updated map that I put together. So Quinn and Williams will join the Tennessee Titans representing Alabama's talent pool. Before we simulate an entire NFL season to see which hometown team is the best, let's have a look at some of these hometown rosters. The Bears have a surprisingly solid team with Teron Armstead and Sam Laporta leading the way, but they have to rely on rookie JJ McCarthy as their quarterback. The Bengals are pretty solid with Joe Burrow leading the way since Madden says his hometown is Athens, Ohio, which is fairly close to Cincinnati. As for the other part of Ohio, closer to Cleveland, Travis Kelsey is the main guy on offense, but Denzel Ward and Marshawn Lamar will be a great duo in the secondary. The Broncos, on the other hand, are going to have to rely heavily on 99 overall Christian McCaffrey because after him, the roster really takes a dip even though they have players from multiple states. The Buccaneers have a great defense with Derwin James, Khalil Mack, and Justin Simmons, but can 83 overall Matthew Stafford get them to the playoffs? The Dolphins are absolutely stacked with elite superstars all over the place, including Lamar Jackson and Nick Bosa. The Eagles are led by Micah Parsons and Saquon Barkley, while the Niners have Josh Allen under center, and he actually has a receiver to throw to in Devonta Adams. And we all know that Adams wants out of Vegas so bad. The Diggs brothers will try and lead the Ravens since I gave them every player from Maryland and Delaware, while the Commanders roster is full of players from Virginia. The Seahawks are another team that has a few additional states and they will be led by Justin Herbert at quarterback and he gets to throw the ball to Cooper Cup so that's not too bad. Since I split Texas, both the Cowboys and Texans have elite rosters. Jalen Hurts gets to throw to CeeDee Lamb and Mike Evans in Houston while Miles Garrett and Max Crosby will cause havoc on the Cowboys defense. The New Orleans Saints have one of the best rosters with players from Louisiana and Mississippi. Just look at their wide receiver room with Justin Jefferson, AJ Brown, Jamar Chase, Devonta Smith, and so many others. But they aren't even the highest rated team in today's video. That actually goes to the Atlanta Falcons who are rated at 91 overall. A completely well-rounded team with Tyreek Hill, Nick Chubb, Roquan Smith, Cam Hayward, and so many other superstars. And one of my favorites has to be the Carolina Panthers. They have so many really good NFL players from Carolina, and unlike their team in real life, Panther fans might actually see their team make a championship run. Now that we've seen majority of the hometown rosters, which team do you think is going to win it all and be crowned Super Bowl champions? After simming the entire 2024 regular season, it was the Houston Texans and the San Francisco 49ers who won their respective conferences. I honestly can't believe the Bucks finished with only 5 wins and I thought they had one of the best hometown teams. On the AFC side, the Dolphins take on the Broncos, Bengals have a date with the Titans, and the Chargers take on the Ravens. While on the NFC side, the Cowboys are going up against a team from Seattle, the Saints and the Falcons have to battle it out, and the Panthers take on the Bears. Patrick Mahomes absolutely dominated this season, throwing for 4,600 yards and 44 touchdowns. Dak had an incredible year throwing to the plethora of superstar receivers born in Louisiana. Somehow, Davis Mills finished top three in passing yards. I'm not even sure how that happened. But Joe Burrow, Lamar Jackson, Jalen Hurts, and Josh Allen all had pretty solid seasons, while it was Josh Jacobs from Dallas who led all running backs this season. And are we actually surprised by this? The Dak to Jefferson connection was elite as Jefferson led the entire NFL in receiving yards while Chris Godwin somehow had 1,500 receiving yards with Davis Mills throwing him the ball. I am a bit surprised by Tyreek Hill's stats, but I guess he did have Trevor Lawrence as his quarterback. On the defensive side of things, it was Nick Bosa who led the NFL with 23 and a half sacks and his teammate Greg Russo had 15 himself. The first playoff game is underway and it was all Miami early on as Lamar Jackson gets the ball off and finds a wide open Zay Flowers who takes it the rest of the way for the touchdown. On the Broncos' next drive, Patrick Sertain picks off the pass and takes it the rest of the way for a pick six touchdown. Unfortunately for Bronco fans, not even 99 overall Christian McCaffrey could get them on the board, and the Miami Dolphins go on to win by a huge score. In the next wildcard game, it was the Titans who were trying to play spoiler over the Bengals as Bo Nix connects with his tight end for the first score. Bill Burrow was not having a good game as he ended up throwing an interception on the next drive. Although he wasn't playing his best, the Bengals only trailed by four points, and Burrow was making some nice passes to get his team down the field. In the red zone, Burrow ends up throwing another interception. 
this time it was CJ Mosley that picked him off. And just like that, Joe Burrow and his hometown Bengals are eliminated from the playoffs. The last wildcard game over on the AFC side ended up needing overtime as both the Chargers and Ravens were deadlocked after four quarters of football. Unfortunately, Tyrod Taylor couldn't lead his offense down the field and Jordan Love can win this for his Chargers. Ace with a third down, Jordan Love throws a deep ball and Chris Olave makes the grab for the touchdown. And they win the game, moving on to the divisional round. In the NFC, the Cowboys take on the Seahawks and it was a pretty close game in the first three quarters. Failing by just three points, Herbert makes a great throw over the middle to Kendrick Bourne. A couple of plays later, he decides to run the ball but have no timeouts left and the clock ends up expiring. And can we be sure that that wasn't Mike McCarthy calling plays for the Seahawks? The Cowboys are moving on to the divisional round. Next up is going to be a good one as a hometown team from Georgia takes on the team from Louisiana. And this game went back and forth but it was the Falcons who led by 12 in the fourth quarter. The time ticking can Dak lead his team to a comeback. He's making some nice reads, but they are now faced with a fourth down. And for whatever reason, they decide to hand it off to Etienne, who doesn't pick up enough yards for the first down. After selling for three, the Falcons have a 15-point lead. Dak then threw a perfect ball to Jamar Chase to cut the lead, but they need to recover this onside kick or else they'll be eliminated. And that was a terrible onside kick and it's recovered and the Falcons hold on to take down one of the best hometown teams. In the last wildcard game, it was the Panthers who absolutely dominated the Bears, moving on to the divisional round. Having a look at the divisional round, the number one seed Texans have a date with the Titans while Miami takes on the Chargers. As for the NFC, Josh Allen and the Niners take on a powerhouse from Atlanta while the Panthers head to Dallas to take on the Cowboys. With a few upsets in the wildcard round, we actually might see one here in the Texas Titans game as Kenneth Walker punches it in early for the first touchdown of the game. After kicking their third field goal, the Texans lead at halftime, but simming all the way to late in the fourth quarter, both teams' offense came alive and the Titans lead by 5 points. No timeouts, Hurt steps back and has Mike Evans, but the time runs out and the Titans play upset, taking down the Texans. Bo Nix had himself a solid game throwing for 284 yards with 3 touchdowns. I still can't believe that they beat the Texans. Continuing right along, the Dolphins and Chargers game needed overtime. And in overtime, Jordan Love throws a perfect pass to Chris Olave who takes it all the way down to the 2 yard line. A couple of plays later, Love finds Amon Ross St. Brown for the touchdown. But the Dolphins quickly add their back with Lamar keeping it for himself and taking it for the touchdown. Love is continuing right where he left off making some nice passes. A few plays later, he hands it off to Algier who puts him into field goal range. The kick is up and it's good! Another upset, the Miami Dolphins are eliminated. On the other side, the Falcons were absolutely dominating the Niners in the first half, and even though the Niners had a first round bye, the Falcons are the top rated team with homegrown talent, and it showed scoring again just before halftime thanks to Tyreek Hill. The Niners were able to keep this one close, but they really had no answer for Tyreek Hill, who scored another touchdown. And to really put the nail in the coffin, Nick Chubb easily rushes in for six, and the Falcons go on to defeat the Niners. As for the last divisional game, the Cowboys look to be in control early, with Patrick Mahomes handing it off to Josh Jacobs, who punches in for a touchdown. Also, Debo got an interception on the next drive, which then led to Patrick Mahomes throwing a nice touchdown pass to Rasheed Rice. That dominance continued in the second half, and the Cowboys were able to hold off Drake May and the Carolina Panthers. The AFC Championship game featured the LA Chargers, who are led by Jordan Love at quarterback and Amon Ra St. Brown at receiver going up against Bo Nix and Jalen Ramsey of the Titans. Jordan Love started off hot, throwing a deep ball to Chris Olave who was able to make the grab and score a touchdown. Not much else happened in the first half as the Chargers lead by 11 points. The Titans need an answer quick and Nix delivered, connecting with George Pickens for a big 24-yard gain and then finding T. Higgins on the hitch route for the touchdown. Early in the fourth, Nix finds a wide open George Pickens who scores a touchdown and the Titans take the lead. The Chargers then fail to convert on a crucial fourth down and the Titans score once again to put this game out of reach. The Titans upset yet another team and one of these two teams will be joining the Titans in the Super Bowl. The Cowboys get off to a quick start with Josh Jacobs running all over the Falcons defense. A couple plays later, Mahomes throws a great pass to Garrett Wilson for the first touchdown of the game. As the first half was quickly coming to an end, Nick Chubb from the Falcons finds a hole up the middle and takes it in for a touchdown to tie this game up. The Cowboys manage to score two more touchdowns in the second quarter, but can Trevor Lawrence lead his offense to the comeback? Well, he ends up taking a sack and fumbling the ball that was recovered by the Cowboys. Mahomes ends up making them pay for that mistake by connecting with Tyler Lockett who gets into the end zone. And after simming the rest of the game, the Cowboys just barely hold off the Falcons winning by 3 points. The Super Bowl matchup is all set. The Cowboys take it on the Titans. The Titans have been underdogs the entire playoffs 
That was not stopping Bo Nix as he fires a pass through the end zone and George Pickens comes down with it. What a great start for the Titans. After Mahomes and the Cowboys were looking to answer. In the red zone, Mahomes hands it off to Jacobs who punches in to tie this one up. Moving ahead to the fourth quarter, Nick Bolton forced and recovered a fumble which led to Mahomes throwing a pass to Rasheed Rice over the middle who takes it for six, taking the lead. Not much time left. And Bo Nix lead his team down the field. First and 10, Nix throws a quick pass to Dawson Knox. And on second down, Nix finds a wide open George Pickens who takes it the rest of the way to tie this game up. This game ended up needing overtime, and in overtime, Bo Nix drops back in the pocket and throws it, but it's intercepted by Deshaun Elliott. The Cowboys can win it on this drive, and Mahomes throws a beam to the back of the end zone, and Tyler Lockett makes the grab. The Dallas Cowboys end up winning, and they are the Super Bowl champions and the best team with the best homegrown talent. If you enjoy content like this one, make sure to click on this video. I know you'll enjoy it.